This is Akashwani, the news read by VC Pramod. Over 22.6 million students have registered for the 7th edition of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Pariksha Pe Charcha 2024 to be held on the 29th of this month. It is a record-breaking registration so far. The Ministry of Education had invited online applications from students in classes 6 to 12th, teachers and parents to participate in the event through a contest on the MyGov portal from the 11th of December 2023 to the 12th of this month. The Ministry said that 2,050 participants will be selected based on their questions on the MyGov portal and will be presented with a special Pariksha Pe Charcha kit comprising of exam warrior books in Hindi and English, written by the Prime Minister, and a certificate. The Ministry said that this year, through the unique interactive program, over 4,000 participants will be interacting with the Prime Minister. It added that the program will be held in a town hall format at Delhi's Bharat Mandapam this year. Pariksha Pe Charcha is a program where students, parents and teachers from across the nation and also from overseas interact with Prime Minister Modi to discuss anxieties related to examinations and life after school. Pariksha Pe Charcha is part of the larger movement Exam Warriors led by Prime Minister Modi to create a stress-free atmosphere for youngsters. Senior Congress leader and former Member of Parliament in Lok Sabha Milind Devada today resigned from the Congress party. The senior leader announced his decision on a social media platform where he wrote, Today marks the conclusion of a significant chapter in my political journey. He added that he has tendered his resignation from the primary membership of the Indian National Congress, ending his family's 55-year relationship with the party. He also thanked all leaders, colleagues and karikartas for their unwavering support over the years. Milind Devada had recently expressed unhappiness over the possibility of the Mumbai South seat going to the Uddhav Thakre-led Sena in the Mahavikas Agadi MVA seat-sharing arrangements. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that the festival of Pongal depicts the emotion of Ek Bharat Shresht Bharat, adding that this emotion of unity will give strength to the Viksit Bharat of 2047. Mr. Modi stated this while addressing a function organized at the residence of Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting, El Murugan, in New Delhi, on the occasion of Pongal. He said that over three crow farmers in the country are involved in the production of Sri An millet grains. He added that if one promotes Sri An, then it directly benefits these three crow farmers. Puducherry Lieutenant Governor and Telangana Governor Tamil Sai Rajan along with Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, were present during the event. Assam is celebrating the Mag Bihu, the vibrant harvest festival also known as Bhugali Bihu and Maghor Dumahi. It is the first festival of the year that brings people of various communities together to enjoy the winter crops and pray for prosperity for the rest of the year. It is called Pungal in Tamil Nadu, Lodi in Punjab and Makar Shankranti in northern parts of India. This Bihu is celebrated over two days. During Mag Bihu, people have feasts and light bonfires starting a day before the main celebration. The day before Mag Bihu is called Uruka or Bihu Eve, the last day of the Posh month in the Assamese calendar. In Telangana, Makar Shankranti festivities have commenced with people celebrating Bhogi today with traditional fervor and gaiety. The three-day post-harvest festival is being celebrated across the state. BJP leaders will hold a cleanliness drive at religious places starting today till the 22nd of this month, the date on which the consecration ceremony of Ram Temple is to be held in Ayodhya. This was stated by Party President J.P. Nadda after participating in a cleanliness drive at Guru Ravidas Mandir in Delhi. Mr. Nadda said party leaders and workers will worship Lord Ram by lighting Ram Jyoti in their homes on the 22nd of January. Indian Med Department IMD forecasts cold to severe cold day conditions continuing over the plains of northwest India with dense to very dense fog during the next four days. And that is the end of this news bulletin. Thank you.